Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this very cute bandana dress. And I know I'm very late to the trend and this was all the hype like last year or the year before even. And I did make it quite a while ago, but I just wanted to show you still because there wasn't a lot of inclusivity uh, when I was looking how to make this dress. So yeah, I just wanted to show you it myself. Um, and then I measured how long I wanted to bore this to be to start at the top and where I wanted to end at the waist. And I cut that out of uh, the front and the back of the dress, like the bandanas that I was gonna use for that. And then I'm just like laying out however I want the skirt to look. So I have about six bandanas for the front of the skirt and then another six for the back and just laying them in whatever colorways I want. Then I am pinning the two sleeves to the front and the back of the dress. And I'm kind of measuring how far I want the sleeves to come down and that little square in the middle, that's gonna be the neck hole basically. And I tried it on a bunch of times to get the right fit as well. So yeah, that's the top of the dress. And then I'm cutting out a piece of bandana that's gonna be uh, between the pink and the lilac, which is just to make it a little bit wider. I want my dress to be really oversized. So um, yeah, I'm just sewing those together. And uh, one of the black edges has to be sewn with a zigzag stitch as well, because that doesn't have a finish. And then I'm sewing the sleeves together. So this is just the sleeve uh, itself. And now I'm going to be sewing the sleeves to the actual top. So the sleeve is already closed. You will see it in a little bit. But I'm sewing one side of the sleeve to the bodice kind of how I pinned it. And there you can see the edge of the sleeve that I've already sewn. So I'm sewing until that edge and then I'm going to be starting at the other side of the dress and sewing it together as well. Then the big job of sewing all the squares together for the skirts is gonna start and that's gonna take quite a bit of time. So here you see me uh, having sewn all those squares together. I'm just ironing the seams flat. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do some ironing, make them nice and straight as well. Then I'm sewing together the top layer and the bottom layer of the dress. So the top three uh, bandanas and then the bottom three bandanas. I'm doing this for the front and the back. It's the same for the front and the back. It's basically reversible, this dress. So that's kind of nice about it as well. Then I wanted to add some pockets, so I'm just cutting out some pockets from some leftover bandana material. And I have my four pieces, so two for each side, and I'm pinning those to the front and the back of the skirt, just about the height where I want them to be from my waist. And I'm sewing these to the skirt with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch as well. Then I am pinning together the side seams and um, also these pockets, just to line up completely so they fold outwards while the skirts have the right sides facing each other. I'm just pinning that up and then I'm going to be sewing the entire side seam together all around the pocket as well, just with a straight stitch. And then the only thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a zigzag stitch around the pocket since that's the edge that's not finished. The side seam is finished since the bandana the bandanas have a finished edge. So just doing a zigzag stitch around that pocket. Then I'm going to do a basting stitch all around the top of the dress. I'm doing it in two sections because that makes it a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna be gathering the entire skirt to fit the bodice of the dress. So all that skirt fabric is gathered up. And then I'm gonna be lining up that skirt with the side seams on the uh, 
um, bodice piece and just making sure that everything fits well. I'm going to be sewing this together with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch as well. If you have a serger, just serge the edge after you've done a straight stitch. That will make it a really nice clean finish as well. Um, yeah, and then I'm just cutting away a little bit of that leftover fabric to make it less bulky. And that's it. That's the entire process of making this dress. I really like how it turned out. I do have to say I did make it a little bit shorter after filming this because it was just a little bit too long but I really love how it turned out and it's so fun and very spring alike and yeah I am glad that I made this dress so thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video bye bye